Hello, so we are back and this time we have a urgent job Okay, so the customer Agreed to pay hundred fifty pounds if he's done today or a hundred pounds if he's just done So let's try to do it. Not today. Let's try to do it now like you know, like one hour. Can we do it? So this is a Lenovo ThinkPad uh, T14, okay? So what this is doing is doing nothing. This is a nice laptop. It's an i5. Uh, it's doing nothing. And the power button is not responding. You can see it's just flashing and that's all. Now I keep the I keep the, the button press. It's, it, the, the, the IO chip is not reading the power button for some reason. Okay? So let's quickly open the laptop and try to fix it. I mean, this is a case when, uh, you know, actually the customer is running a business with a laptop, so he needs a laptop. And obviously in a case like this, usually you know, people pay some emergency fee. Of course, it's not charged by me, it's charged by the shop. But the shop called me and tell, told me, you know, sorry, we have this job, has to be done quickly, as soon as possible. And I said, you know what, let me try I mean, we don't know yet what is inside and what is the problem. Plastic clips. I don't think this has been opened before. It's coming quite hard. And the laptop is open. Wow, this is a nice laptop. Check here. Check here. So you have the CPU. I'm curious, what is here? Oh, the power supply is from the CPU. You see, this is a nice laptop. Uh -huh. Here you have two memory chips. Probably one of them is the BIOS chip. Okay, let's try some basic stuff, yeah? Like unplugging the battery. I'm plugging the BIOS battery. Uh, shorting the BIOS battery. In this way, we are resetting the EC chip. And we are forcing the EC chip to load the BIOS again. Of course, it will load the default BIOS, yeah? Now plugging back the BIOS battery, plugging back the main battery. Pressing the power button. The EC chip is it is reading the power button. I'm curious it will come it will come on. You think it was like just a you know a frozen EC chip? Probably not. No, we have no picture. Probably they try already to reset the to reset the BIOS, you know? It, it's a computer show. So what is the problem? Wait, I see some light here. Let me plug the charger. I do have a USB C. And the laptop, it does have the charging light, and it's taking like 2 amps, which is fine, it's normal. The, the CPU is getting hot, and we have picture, lol. <laughs> okay, they sent me the, the laptop, they didn't even try to reset the laptop. That's crazy. Okay, let's wait. Yeah, and it's working fine. Uh, 
and it's loading the windows. Wow. That was an easy one. But happy, you know, happy we held the customer today. Oh, that's crazy. I had like five minutes of video. Yeah, the fan is spinning. You can see it. It's charging fine. So that's insane. You see, the laptop can go dead just uh, because of our error. I mean, the way how the laptop works, you have the startup chip, the EC chip or the CO chip or the IO chip. You know, you can call that chip anyway. So that chip is uh, the first time when you start the laptop, it will load the BIOS, yeah? The chipset, it will come on, yeah? And uh, the chipset, it will be the bridge between the BIOS and the EC chip. So the EC chip is loading the BIOS. Then, you know, when uh, you modify anything onto the BIOS, you actually you modify on the live version from the EC chip, yeah? Which is kept in alive by this BIOS battery. And the moment you unplug the BIOS battery, you force the EC chip to read the default BIOS again. I mean, having in mind the EC chip is a chip which is always on, you know, the errors can occur, like... Uh, in this case, so we had what we had here. We had a, a damaged BIOS image on inside of the EC chip. That's the reason why we reset the BIOS and the laptop start. So that's how the computer works, yeah. Yeah, what can I say? Can't believe it's working. Yeah, everything is fine. Wow, why I don't have all the all my jobs like that? Eh? Why I don't have all the jobs like that? That would be nice. I mean, on a computer shop, you will have a lot of jobs like this. I mean, frozen EC chip, frozen BIOS, yeah? Yeah, let me shut down. And this has Windows 11, right? Yeah. Crazy, insane fault. I mean, this is that kind of fault which anyone can fix it. You don't even need knowledge. And i seen this fault on any laptop, like any. Okay, eight minutes. Let's waste time two more minutes so the video can have ten minutes so I can monitor uh, uh, Monetize the video. Just, you know, just to have a coffee in the morning. Nice. So, yeah, if we have a little, if we have a little bit uh, of time to spend together, let's... Uh, Let's check some voltages. Let me check, just to have in mind, if I have this job uh, in the future. So we have 1.2 volts. We have 3.3. We have 3.3. Here we have 19. Probably this is the charging coil. Here we have 13. Who knows, maybe you'll have this job. Uh, 1.8 volts here. I can't check the CPU power supplies because I don't are under uh, the heat sink. On the BIOS chip, uh, yeah, 3.3 volts, 3.3 BIOS chips, yeah. yeah. That's all power, yeah, it's one more power supply here and this one is 5 volts. This is a small 5 volts power supply. Okay, so if you have this laptop to repair, those are the voltages. Probably even the chipset power supply is under the 
the heat sink here. Okay, that's great. We fix it. That's what is important. So I'll stop this video now. It's 10 minutes. I will say uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe if you like the video, like always, and see you on the next one. Bye.